Hi, I'm Chef Jeff Trombetta from Norwalk Community College in Connecticut. And today I am going to have a black bean burger with mozzarella. These are not only going to be a black bean burger, these are going to be black bean burger sliders. What we have here is you can use canned black beans, but I have dried black beans that I soaked and cooked and I drained them. I try to keep them relatively dry because if you want a patty that handles well, you're going to have to keep it dry because you don't want it falling apart. So this is a really dry mixture. So we're looking pretty good. And I can even add moisture if I need to. So let's get some ingredients in here. A little garlic, a little jalapeno, and a little oregano with sage. I like that. Absorb moisture. Parsley is a good little tool. And also I have spinach powder here, but I don't think I'm going to need it because I'm trying to avoid adding flour or cornstarch or potato starch or anything like that. But this spinach powder is very dry and it will absorb some excess moisture if need be. But this is pretty good. Okay, so we're just going to blend that in. Don't forget your salt because there's no salt in there yet. And a little bit of pepper, but we have the jalapeno pepper, so let's get a good mash on that. But it's really nice paste. I can't even afford to add a little moisture. I'm going to add a little red pepper puree. That'll add more flavor. That has a little oil in there. We're going to get some shallot in there. It's like an onion, just a little sweeter, a little milder. So everything's chopped nice and small. A little more salt. So we're going to make some sliders, not too big. So about a half scoop. So give it a little shape. Don't make them too thick because you want them to heat up in the center. That's that. So let's get our butter starting to brown. Okay, so that's dredged. And always, if you can, pat it. Shake off the excess. So let's go to the pan. There you go. Shake off the excess. There we go. All right. Try to work quick because you want to kind of play a little game with yourself. You want to be done with all these patties by the time it's ready to flip the first one. And always check your butter. Let them cook a little bit. They're nice and loose. Needs a little butter, a little more fat. I'm gonna top it off a little bit of olive oil. I can tell that I got some browning, so I'm gonna start to flip them. There we go. That one was last. This one's ready, I can tell. Tilt the pan, help yourself. I got it on high heat the whole time because I want to get crisp. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to take our cheese and put it on there. I'm gonna go with a little bit of a lid to help melt that cheese. Turn it off so I don't burn it. I'm going to let that sit for a little bit. Now, how do they look? I think they look pretty good. So, let's get them on a bun. I'm going to garnish the plate. Let's start by laying down some dandelion greens. Serves as a nice bed. So, I'm just taking off the bottom stem. Let's take our buns and put them down. And let's take our spatula and get these up without too much disruption. Look at that. Oversized. Mozzarella is nice and stuffy. Mozzarella is nice and stringy. So it's not a lot of bread here. It's more black bean burger than bread. I'm going to make a customer choice by giving them the tomato for the moisture. It's a black bean burger. It's going to be dry. It's not going to be juicy beef burger. Got a little radish rose there try to highlight that. Put it under some celery leaves. Take some of these red onions and put them around. And that is a black bean burger with mozzarella. Let's take a bite. I'm Chef Jeff Trombetta. And remember, it's just good cooking.